Hey basses, here is a lesson video on the song Short and Bread, which was in the music packet that Mrs. Schmidt put together for you guys um, that was in your first take home packet when school first closed. So if you didn't get that or you lost it or you just can't find it for some reason, uh, please email me or Mrs. Schmidt and we'll make sure that we mail one home to you right away. All right, so this is the song Short and Bread. And uh, before you even pick up your bass, what I'd like you, like you to do actually is take a pencil with your music and number the lines of the song. So there's a little, oh my gosh, sorry. Get this a little closer so you can see. All right, so where are we? Here we go. So right along this, oops, wrong side. <laughs> right along the side here, just number one, two, three, four, five, and six. So six lines of the song right down your page. All right, so go ahead and pause this video, do that for a sec. All right, and now when you're ready, let's take a look at the short inbred. So you guys, this song is crazy, crazy easy. This is gonna be super easy for you to put together. Um, it's kind of a, a bass accompaniment part to the main fiddle melody of this song. Uh, and it only has two lines of, of of music basically, which are then repeated. So the very first line, you've got a D quarter note, uh, and then quarter rest, another D quarter note, quarter rest. Uh, we're gonna do this with our bows for right now, but this is definitely a song which will be fun to maybe do some pizzicato or some slap pizzicato also. All right, so here we go. Let's try the first three measures where you just have a D quarter note and then a quarter rest. All right, counting it off and tapping your foot. One, two, Open D. Rest. 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 All right, so same thing three times in a row. But during that last couple Ds, get your hand ready because we're going to be playing an F sharp with your fourth finger on the D string, then an E first finger, then an open D. Okay, so let's try that. So F sharp, E, D, the last measure. Ready, and. And again, kind of don't, don't pay attention to my fingering or my finger tapes because, again, I don't have the bass at home. Just using cello for right now. All right, so let's try that whole first line without stopping now. And again, towards the end of those open Ds, get your hand ready for F, E, D. All right, here we go. Line one. One, two, ready, open D. Rest. Exactly the same. So those first two lines, same notes, same rhythms. If you jump down to the bottom of the song, line five and line six, those are exactly the same too. Okay, so that's how uh, easy the songs can be to learn. First two lines and the last two lines are all the same. So let's go to line three, and you can see this is where it changes a little bit. We're going over into half notes. Now remember, a half note has two counts, two beats, so we're gonna be using long bows for this. But it's only two notes. So we're going to start on our open D string. And then you're going to go to your first finger on the, a, on the G string for the note A. Now again, I have a cello, so I'm just going to play an open A string. But yours will be a B, oh sorry, it will be a first finger on the G string for your note A. Okay? So let's try this. M uh, line three, half notes. Make sure you're counting two beats. Ready, and D. Just be careful again, you're not playing an open G. Don't follow me. Make sure you're doing a first finger A for that uh, line three and line four. All right, here we go. Short and bread from the beginning to the end. Keep your foot tapping and count out those rests. Here we go. One, two, open D. Here we go. Rest. Rest. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
the most important thing about the song is not really the notes for you guys. It's keeping a really steady beat. Uh, and some different things you can do with, uh, with your part is actually doing a pizzicato. So put your bow down for a minute. And we did some of this in summer strings. I don't know if everybody has had a chance to do this or not yet. But in bass playing, you get to do something called slap bass or slap pizzicato sometimes. So you're not going to hurt your instrument. You're not going to hit it super hard. But you're just going to tap these strings to get kind of a percussive sound. So you can pluck your D and then just kind of tap your fingers against those strings. You'll get that little click or that little tap sound. And that's going to happen during the rest. So the very first line, you could do this pizzicato this way. So it's going to go D slap. as well. When you get down to the half notes, you would just slap on the second beat of the half note. So it'd be D slap, A slap, D slap, A slap, D slap, A slap, F, E, D slap. And that's how you'd go through that with a pizzicato version. Okay, one other thing that you can do uh, is you can play your part with the cello part. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now and give you a chance to hear what that will sound like. So when the cellos are playing their melodies, they don't have the same rhythms and they don't have the same rests as you. So it's going to be very important to stay independent, keep your foot tapping, keep true to your part, and not get confused by what the cellos are doing. Uh, but it's going to sound really cool when you do this together. And you know those F sharp E Ds at the end of every single line? You will play the same thing. You'll line up with them when you get to that part. All right. So I'm going to play the cello part. I want you to try playing your part along with me. And let's just see how it goes. Okay? So again, keep your foot tapping, keeping a steady beat. And here we go. I'm on the cello part. You're on your bass part. One, two, ready, play. questions or any problems, there's anything wrong with your instrument, please feel free to email me or Mrs. Schmidt and we'll help you any way we can.